Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this, the Hotpoint FZA36 under counter frost free freezer. Now with this it is available in two colours, either this which is the polar white or it is also available in a graphite grey colour. It is available in a non frost free version which the model number on that one is the RZA36. The main thing is it can work out slightly cheaper but what you tend to find is that by having it frost free it saves so much hassle as far as the defrosting and for the purpose of this video I'll be concentrating on this one. Just to give you an overview of the dimensions it is 60 centimeters wide, 62 centimeters deep and the height of it is 85 centimeters. So what I've done is I've actually plugged it in now and the indicators on the front First of all you've got the power, so there's clearly power to it because the green light is on here. In the middle here we've got the temperature setting, so you'd normally just use a coin to change that, it goes between 1 and 5 and clearly it says number 5 is colder. What you tend to find is for an average, say kitchen, you'd normally start it on say number 3 and go from there. The right hand side here we've got the fast freeze button. That's mainly used when you've been shopping and you've got a lot of food that needs to be frozen quickly. And if you press that, then the orange light comes on. And then after a while that light will actually switch off. And you've got this indicator on the right hand side here. That's basically saying high temperature. And that's a red indicator basically to say that the freezer isn't cold enough. And that is showing at the moment because I've just plugged it in. So that's good, that's working okay. So the next thing we can see is on the door, the handle is mainly on the left hand side, this is where we open it. But what you can do is if you choose to, you can reverse the door. It is an easy process. All you would normally do is just to tilt it back and you can basically take the, the nut off at the bottom and then you can relocate the door post at the top here it is a fairly simple process and you do get the full instructions to show you how to do it. And as we have a look inside, it has got three drawers. They do vary in size. And just to give you an idea of the sizes of these, so you're looking at 15 and a half centimeters for the top drawer, 23 and a half centimeters for the middle drawer, and around 20 centimeters for the bottom drawer. Now these drawers are very substantial, they are fairly similar design throughout, but they are very very substantial, they've got little handles on the side, so if you need to carry them, especially when it's full of food, then that is a very very good design. Now the good thing about this model is if you did get to the point where you needed to replace one or two of the drawers, if you broke them for example, then they are very easy and fairly inexpensive to get hold of. I'll just show you this, this is the bottom drawer and what you'll find you've got this design at the back here so it isn't a full depth drawer but the reason for that is you've got the motor behind here and what they've done is they've come up with a good design to try and maximise the amount of space. As you can see from this bright orange sticker here as far as the guarantee goes it has got 10 year parts guarantee and 1 year labour and what that means is that as long as a hotpoint engineer comes out to service the appliance and as long as it is a genuine fault then any parts that are required are free of charge. Now another thing to point out is it does come with this, this is an ice cube tray and as it says you can make ice cubes in here. Once you've put the water in just put the lid on top and then you put it in the freezer. Now quite a few freezers come with ice cube trays but they don't come with a lid. So when you go and try and put it in the freezer, especially if you've got a lot of stuff in there, the water goes everywhere. But that's quite a good little design and that's included with the freezer as well. The capacity on this freezer is 73 litres and when you're buying a freezer it is important to check out the capacity of freezers nowadays. If you've had a freezer for say 10 or 15 years then what you'll find on your one at home, chances are that the walls will be slightly thinner. So if you are replacing one that is a similar size to this, then what you will find is that the capacity on your older one, chances are it has been bigger than this. But the main advantage, and I've got the energy label here, 
is that the energy rating on the modern freezers are a lot more energy efficient. As you can see from this, it is an A plus energy rating. So just to show you around the back of the appliance, we've got the mains lead, that's 1.5 meters long. And the other thing to note is when you buy one of these, just make sure it has got this, which is the metal back. Some of the older versions didn't have that. But this is basically a flame retardant back now, which all of the new appliances should have. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Hotpoint FZA36P. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and leave any comments below. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Thanks very much.